guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is c chronicles thank you very much for joining me today if you're new on this channel i do fragrance reviews uh i do fashion videos lifestyle videos and much much more if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back uh i am using a temporary background because i'm in between moving closets uh so my new closet should be ready in uh, about a month's time uh so until then i've had to put stuff together uh you know uh, and uh, create a makeshift background uh for you guys to see i've taken uh you know ripped boards and just put them together and put a couple of shoes for me to have at least a, a nice background uh, so today i am here with a uh, an interesting video have you ever bought fragrance uh fragrances as a blind buy or do you have fragrances in your collection that you don't care for anymore well i have good news for you i have 30 ways you can use your unwanted fragrances 30 ways to use unwanted fragrances Fragrances. Okay, I'm going to go straight to point number one because this video is going to be fairly long. I hope you have yourself something to drink. I hope you have yourself, you know, you're cozy or home relaxed because it might be a fairly long video. Now, point number one, obviously, is going to be to give the fragrance away. Give the fragrance away, swap it or, uh, you know, sell it, right? But that is obvious. So let's go into the more interesting parts. Point number two would be to use the fragrance as a room uh, freshener, just like what I'm doing here, right? To just send... Uh, uh, the space around you point number three would be to use the fragrance on uh hair i love using fragrances that i don't care for on artificial hair synthetic hair especially right uh i would just spray unwanted fragrances on like i said take note synthetic hair uh, not real hair because I know alcohol in perfumes can damage hair. So, uh, you know, spray fragrances that you don't need on uh, hair or wigs, you know, uh, and uh, that should help to scent the space in which you keep your wigs. So if you keep your wigs in your closet, this tip helps to just make sure that the closet has just a beautiful uh, scent all around. Point number four would be to spray on carpets. Carpets have a tendency because of the way they're weaved, they have a tendency to keep fragrances uh, uh, for longer, but also, uh, you know, uh, uh, you tend to, while they keep the fragrance for longer, I know if you don't like a fragrance, you might say, well, why would I want to even spray it on my carpet? But it does, you know, uh, develop in the carpet differently and it gives out this beautiful scent around the home which you may have to just try out uh, uh, point number five would be to spray it in your lotion right if you use a lotion or a cream uh, you may want to just uh, spray the fragrance directly in your lotion use a wooden spoon to mix it up you know just to give uh, the lotion a, uh, a different twist to it uh, I find that very helpful. Uh, point number six would be to spray it on dry flowers. I will insert a video uh, where you will see me spray fragrance on dry flowers. If you've got artificial flowers around your home, uh, you could just spray directly on that, those flowers. They tend to give out uh, a beautiful scent, uh, you know, in your home. Uh, another point being you can spray the fragrance on cotton balls, right? If you have, uh, uh, you know, points in your homes that you you like in your home that you like scented just take cotton balls spray them directly you know a couple of spreezes on them put them in direct in uh, uh, strategic points and they will give out a beautiful uh, uh, scent all around within your home uh, point number eight is spray your curtain your curtains your vents and your louvers if you have uh, 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 air vents I actually in fact every home has air vents common sense isn't it yeah so i sometimes spray fragrance that i don't care for directly on the air vents because they do have that uh, filter to them so it also just scents your home number nine would be to spray the fragrance on uh lampshades or on um uh, light bulbs and do take note for security uh, for 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 safety reasons sorry not security for safety reasons make sure you do not spray your fragrance on bulbs that are on so what I do is when my bulbs are actually off or the lights around the home are off I spray fragrance on them obviously not too much because 
uh, in as much as it's got alcohol and it dries fast, it is a liquid of some sort. So do spray uh, your bulbs when they are off. Once you, your bulbs are on, they have this heat that they just bring out and then the fragrance burns in the process and you have generally a beautiful uh, uh, scent in the home. Next point, if I'm looking to my... Um, left which is probably your right uh, i'm not sure uh that's because i've put points down because there's 30 of them so i don't want to omit one point next thing you could do is you can actually use the fragrance as a diffuser right if you have uh, a, um, a, a fragrance you don't care for you could take a pliers uh I, I will try to find a video of uh, how to open a perfume bottle i know how to open it myself take a pliers pinch this part of your fragrance you know do the motion the left to right left to right you know pull out uh, 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 the, the top then you're left with the container open if the opening is not too big or it's not enough the size is not big enough for you you could just use something as basic as a salt shaker I have this salt shaker right after my fragrance is open I'll then pour it into the salt shaker close it up and then through the holes of the salt shaker I put those sticks for the diffusers and voila I've got myself uh, uh, a DIY home uh, diffuser now, Next thing is to spray the fragrance on magazines or envelopes. Uh, if you're into mailing stuff, you could just uh, spray on envelopes before you mail them, making sure that the actual fragrance does not uh, stain uh, the envelope. Uh, and on magazines, you know, to just send uh, the, the space in which you want the fragrance, you know, to be, uh, to, to, to come out. Next thing would be to actually dilute the fragrance it's, itself. If, it's, if you don't like it because it's a very strong fragrance, you could use perfume alcohol or perfumous compound open it again like I said uh, with the pliers if you're lucky enough to have one of these uh, Mugla bottles that you can actually that are refillable which, which you only need to open like that good for you if not you'd have to open this uh, dilute it in a way you know to make it a mist or an eau de tea close it up or move it into a container like one of these basic containers which you can find on uh, you know uh, 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 some of these websites because maybe after opening it this bottle might be damaged. Some bottles get damaged if they're not refillable. Some bottles are actually perfectly fine after you open them, so you can open and close them. If not, then you may need to move your fragrance to another container, dilute it a little bit, taking note that perfumer's alcohol is actually very strong, so you don't want to use a lot of that, otherwise you end up with water. You know, you just want to use a little bit of perfumer's alcohol, testing your fragrance as you're using it uh, to see what strength you want it to be. So instead of tossing it, then you can keep it and use it as a spray you know or an eau de toilet tea uh, the next point here would be to spray uh, the fragrance uh, to use the fragrance as a toilet spray or you can spray it on a shower curtains we really don't care much about the smell that comes out of the toilet so if you have a fragrance uh, that you don't need you can actually use it as a toilet uh, uh, as a toilet uh, uh, air freshener or you just scent your, your 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 curtains with it next thing is you can actually use it on your clothes after you wash them on your clothes clothes are on your laundry line you can go there before they dry spray your clothes as they dry they dry with this beautiful scent around them you know they have this, this beautiful uh, uh, scent to them point number 15 will be to do DIY candles with the unwanted fragrance right how you do DIY uh, candles is you need to buy beeswax so of course smell that uh, melt that and then uh, you know instead of putting essential oils or with essential oils you can add the fragrance that you don't care for so if you're just joining me or you've just come in i am talking about 30 ways you can use unwanted fragrances 30 ways you can use fragrances that you don't care for so please do remember to subscribe guys uh i would very much appreciate that now we're moving on to uh number 16. number 16 will be to spray your bath towels if you like me and you love towels i have loads of towels in my home you know i usually keep at least eight to ten towels in my bathroom you can actually use the fragrance to spray the towels so that they just have this beautiful scent around them for guests uh, or for yourself uh, uh, when you actually uh, use the towels next point would be to spray it in your clothing steamer if you're one of those people that love to use a steamer you know uh, you can spray the fragrance in the water in your steamer before using the steamer so as you're steaming you know uh, your, your your clothes are actually 
actually getting a bit of some fragrance to them and do take note that i know if you don't like the fragrance you probably don't want it uh, on your clothes but in the steamer it comes in a diluted form so it could be one way of actually uh, making use of unwanted of, of an unwanted fragrance point number 18 would be to Add it into your uh, detergent within your home. Uh, whatever you use to clean your floors, you can add that uh, uh, fragrance uh, there. Uh, if you don't know how to open uh, the fragrance container, like I say, uh, said before, you can actually do it in the old fashioned way of you know spraying uh, uh, the, the fragrance out into a container so anytime i say you can put it in this container you can put it and you don't care for opening the actual fragrance you can spray it directly into a co container but taking note that it takes at least 12 to 14 you know uh, pushes like this to get one meal out so it's quite a tedious process but it can be done uh, one meal is about 12 to 14 sprays it can actually be eight depending on the pressure that you're putting on the nozzle right uh, now where was I I was on the detergent now point number 19 is you can spray your trash can there's always trash there why not just spray it to uh, scent it out right uh, point number 20 would be to mix it with other fragrances to create a twist right so if you don't like a fragrance right it does or it doesn't work on you you may not want to layer it on your body directly so why not again do a DIY open the fragrance mix it up with some of the fragrances that you have and see what you can create in the process might turn out to be something that you actually prefer to use than the actual original uh, uh, fragrance uh, now the next point uh, being um, you can use it on your cupboards or your cupboard liners if you keep your socks in your cupboards you can uh, empty uh, you know the, the socks out of the cupboards spray the cupboard liners uh, you know if it's very expensive furniture and you're worried about that you could do a test run and spray the cupboard feet first before you go directly if there's no stain then you can go ahead and use that okay so the next point my battery had actually gone so i had to uh recharge it there the next point would be to spray the fragrance uh directly into your bathing water right uh so yes in terms of, i know some people will say oh fragrances have chemicals and, and and what have you and that is correct but if you are spraying it in your bathing water don't forget that the ratio is that much you know that if you're spraying one mil of this in your bathing water and you've got a bathtub full honestly the ratio is that much and you know the chemical content may actually be uh, uh insignificant in that point uh next point which is point number 23 would be to spray it on your mattress and on your sofas if you've got sofas that are made of cloth or velvet uh you know you can spray it on the sofas and like i said you know uh, they tend to keep the fragrance for longer but in a diluted form in not necessarily the form of the fragrance that you uh, are repulsive towards because i know if you don't like if it's an unwanted fragrance chances are you don't like it anyway so you couldn't care for it but if you spray it on your uh, sofas and your curtains are open or your windows are open the sunlight's coming in the wind's coming in at the end of the day it gives off a different fragrance so instead of tossing the fragrance that could be a, a, a way of actually uh, making use of the actual fragrance right uh, please do remember to subscribe I'll I can't say this enough I'll appreciate if you join this family and uh, you know like I said I've just put together this background I hope uh, at least uh, you know you guys like it because I just had to put it in a you know in a half just to get this video going now next point um, would be to just keep it in your scent library right you know i know our nose palettes change over time uh, but uh, I, i'm also a, a stern believer of uh, you might not like it now but after a while you might actually start uh, you know uh, gravitating towards it again so you might want to keep it in your scent, scent library for memory's sake and uh, you know uh, revisit it from time to time to see if you really uh, are actually that fed up of it and if you know you turn to fall in love with it again then maybe use reuse it if you've kept it in your scent library uh, point number 25 would be to spray in your handbags what I do is I take, uh, you know, my handbags, make sure, of course, there's no valuables inside. Give it a good spray like that, you know, and then take the handbag, zip it up and put it wherever it's supposed to stay. That way I've noticed um, 
you know that anytime i use my 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 handbags or my backpacks you know people tend to say or in general people say to me oh you smell good sometimes even when i haven't even worn perfume it's because of some of these hacks that i'm telling you you know that just keep fragrance around you uh, uh so next point would be uh to spray your shoe covers right i've bought shoes that come in covers like this you know like this one that you can see here so you can actually just spray the actual cover itself it will scent your closet or spray the the actual cover and then put it in your shoe like that you know so that way the the, the you know that the shoe also gets a bit of uh, uh some scent to it or the other thing that I do is I spray my trainers as well because, you know, as trainers, we use them a lot for, uh, you know, uh, activities that make us sweat and stuff like that. So I found this helpful, just spraying my trainers and the material within the trainers, you know, actually just make the shoes smell good. And as a result, when I wear them, I just generally, uh, you know, smell, uh, smell good. Uh, another point is to spray your um if you use one of these irons you know that are steam irons you can actually take the fragrance uh the perfume spray it inside or in that little uh cup that you use to pour water inside that way as you iron in your clothes and you know the steam is coming from the bottom it's also scenting your clothes and then again like i had to say i know if you don't like fragrance you might say why should i use it on my clothes the difference being, if it's in water, it gives off a different smell than the one that you probably don't care for. So it just gives a general, uh, beautiful scent to your clothes. And don't forget, these same clothes are going to go in your, in your in your wardrobe or in your storage space. So it's not like you're using the fragrance directly. These are just hacks to help you with what to do uh, with uh, fragrances that you don't care for. Uh, point number twenty-eight would be to DIY on these, right? You can make your own air fresheners. Uh, this is quite a simple thing to do, right? All you do is you need dry herbs. If you can see that, you need dry herbs or dry uh, spices or dry leaves, right? There, there you go, right? Dry spices or dry leaves, right? Uh, once they're dry, you douse them in perfume, stuff them into this kind of cloth. It's got to be like a mesh kind of uh, material or something like um, chiffon material you know the, the kind of material that is breathable stuff the stuff inside you know tie it up like this put it under your car seats put it under you know places that you want scented and voila you've got yourself a, a DIY uh, uh, a freshener um, next uh, and last point would be and this is important right uh, let us be cautious when we're buying uh, because I know as fragrance uh, reviewers and fragrance uh, fanatics, we tend to just buy and buy and buy. So maybe this is the most important uh, point of all, just to avoid buying fragrances unnecessarily because all these 30 might not be, you know, something that you, you, you need to bother about if you buy sparingly. Uh, but then again, I know you might buy a fragrance liking it a lot and then your palette, your nose palette changes over time and you don't like it. And this, you find this video helpful, you know, so yes, is even as, as I'm saying, this is an important point to try not to blind buy and try not to buy unnecessarily. Uh, it's also necessary to know these points so that uh, at least you put your fragrances to good use. So yes, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the 30 points that I had for you, 30 hacks of what to do with unwanted fragrances. If you have fragrances in your collection that you don't care for, you have fragrances in your collection that you cannot possibly gift somebody because maybe they are that far gone or you just couldn't put yourself to give somebody some, you know, the fragrances because you hate them so much. Do look into these tips and, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section if I have omitted anything. Let me know in the comment section if you have hacks of your own of what you do with unwanted fragrances. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. It's been your girl C Chronicles. Do remember to stay safe, stay fabulous and smelling great always the form of good manners. Cheers.